Something I see a lot is players not using the tee box they've been given, the space they've been given to make their shot a little bit easier. They don't know where to tee their golf ball up. To give you a little example of that, I'm on a par three, the pin's on the right hand side of the green. So what I'll do is I'll go to the far left side of the tee as much as I can, because in doing this, I'm hitting from left to right. That'll open up the green a little. It'll make getting, getting close to this pin that little bit easier. If I, was, if I was playing a hole and the pin was on the left-hand side of the green, I'd be teeing up in the far right-hand corner. Again, this would open up the green a little. It would give me a little more margin for error in my shot. Again, it would make it a little bit easier for me to get close to this left pin. If the pin was in the center of the green, I'd go ahead and tee up, tee up in the center of the tee box. So here we go. Pin's on the right-hand side of the green. I've chosen the left-hand side of the tee box. I've got a good view at the pin. Hitting from left to right just makes it that little bit easier for me to give myself a makeable birdie putt. Now that's based on where the pin is. If you're a little more of an advanced player and you're looking to shape your shots, perhaps you're hitting, looking to hit a draw or a fade on a certain hole, I'd always recommend if you're trying to hit a fade shot, go to the right hand side of the tee box. Won't get too much into the detail of that, but normally teeing up on the right, being able to swing to the left will, will promote and encourage a fade shot. If you're trying to hit a draw, I go more towards the left hand side of the tee box. The opposite of that, aiming a little more down the right, swinging to the right, encourages the draw shot.